Hi there and uh, welcome to uh, my video number two. Uh, in this video I will try to uh, investigate a little bit deeper in, in, in the car and see if we can find out what has happened to the car. Uh, I will try first to, to look at the most obvious things and then uh, a little bit uh, deeper into the things. <clears throat> What we see here, uh, the letters and the ornaments here is, is gone, has been deleted. Uh, I have them. Uh, I, I, I got a set of, of, of letters and, and, and ornament from, from the seller, but obviously uh, they were not from this car. Sometimes in the past they have been deleted. Uh, I don't know why, but that seemed to be the case. In, in general, uh, regarding the paint, it looks like it, it's the uh, Lake Placid Blue, but it, it seems like it has been repainted. We can see in some spots that there is a white paint under the blue paint here. Perhaps it's a uh, could be that it was repainted and 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 this is just a, a filler or or whatever. Uh, or it was painted white at some occasion. We don't really know. If we look at the doors, uh, this door, the rear door has a problem. It can be opened from outside, but not from the inside. The lever here is stuck as well as, as everything else. But here we can see a little bit regarding the paint. It has been repainted and it's not a, an exact match to the original paint, but close. And parts of it has this white color. Uh, taking a look at the front door, that is the other way around. It cannot be open from the outside, but only from the inside. So here, the lever from inside works, but not from the outside and everything else is stuck. So that's something I will have to take care about. The interior, the fabric here is replaced. This is not the original. It should have the medium blue Parisienne and it's hard to say if that upholstery is still left under this because this is as well worn out and uh, that will be interesting to see if the original upholstery is still still there it looks as well as if this dark color dark blue is something that is tinted in a darker uh, color than, than what it should have Possibly, I'm not sure. Uh, the carpet that were there was the original one and that seemed to have uh, been there forever. Uh, I had to remove it. I saved part of it in the trunk. For the rest, uh, of course, there is no, no vanity kit is, is left here. But there is a sticker here saying Cadillac Foot, Oldsmobile, Three Cities, and I think it says Alabama, or what that could be. Maybe someone knows what it is. Keys seem to be still 
kind of original, I would guess. Perhaps. Other than that, everything seemed to be more or less Okay, and uh, <clears throat> the gear shifter is cannot be removed from this position. I guess there are some solenoids and things there. You need to have the ignition on, but I tried also with the battery and the ignition and, and the, 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 the gear shifter is, cannot be moved into gear or away from park. Over to the rear, the same here. <clears throat> there has been some something going on here. The, the locking mechanism is gone, should be here. Uh, it's probably patched. There is a metal patch here, it's, it's hard to tell, um, but it, it, it is some uh, some modifications done to the car in the past otherwise it's not that much done to it here we have the the california plate it says california uh, 1964 uh, there and the other one is 1968 are those tax stickers maybe someone knows looking a little bit more into the things here in the trunk this fuel tank there has been some work going on here looks like they have tried to to do something with the the fuel tank we will take a look at, at the engine later let me remove some of the parts here i put the phone put it down here that wasn't so easy yeah the fuel tank out. There are some. These go goes on the on the rear fenders, quarter panels. Uh, here we have a, an electric fuel pump that was installed. This is part of the carpet. The, it was just necessary to remove it from the car because it was in a, a rather bad condition. Let me show you. like didn't really want to have it in the car but I, I saved part of it just to, to well I don't really know why but it's still there pieces of it uh, this is the carpet that goes on the lid here and there are some other parts here the jacks this is the lid for the battery box here um, all the electrical parts for the the trunk trunk opening motors seems to be there i hope so here we have a spare tire
some parts for the exhaust and uh, well uh, this is a very bad not very bad but not too good either hubcap some other parts this is a part of the mechanism of the the fender here goes inside here um, not much more to say about the, the trunk here uh, for sure it has some rust here and needs to be repaired but on the other hand it's not too bad we can assume that this is the original paint Both front and rear door works here. So that's a good thing. I haven't been able to try every uh, function. I, I just try to put a battery in and, and some of the lights work. But here, could spend some time the air suspension uh, some of the parts of the air suspension is still here the compressor is here the, the uh, tank is here much of the the gadget and pipes and things are there unfortunately the suspension baffles in the front are are removed and replaced by springs. We'll take a look at that later. Here, if we remove these parts, Looks like this uh, air cleaner has been sandblasted or, or blasted with some material. I don't know what exactly. I don't know if it's the original one to the car. Here we have the, the tree carb set up. It looks like mostly it's unchanged looks original but there has been something going on here and maybe it has something to do with the fuel tank uh, there was this electrical pump that is in the trunk now was installed here but didn't really fit too well so the air cleaner didn't didn't really go on as it should so there has been some some operations here which which lead me to believe that that was maybe one of the reasons for why this car was not used could be one of the reasons but other than that it looks like most of the things are still here Well, down to the wheels. Wheels look original. Here we see modification there. The, the spring is installed there and the bracket for the shock absorber doesn't really look uh, original so it's some kind of business going on there and that is the the situation
on the rear axle the car is on 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 jacks and uh, let's see if we can well you see that the springs are there installed there it's hard to see without lights i will so here we are under the rear axle um, some some uh, parts are still left here for the air suspension uh, i think there are up there uh, this is of course a modification um, the installation of the springs above the axle i don't know if that modification was done by by cadillac or if it's some aftermarket uh, stuff or or i know some of these cars were modified already by by um, by gm or by cadillac just a few years after they were they were sold they did have some problem with it well rear axle some of the exhaust pipes are, are still there um, there isn't much to say or see here doesn't look too bad not too much rust it's mostly surface rust the frame looks uh, rather solid here we have the the twin uh, fans one here and one over on, on, on the other side for the uh, under seat uh, heater core mm, silencers are are removed but i have two of them so i know uh, roughly how what they should look like and of course the spare wheel uh, trunk here is is in bad condition needs some repairs will be interesting to to see and uh, look what what kind of parts are still left inside here shock absorber is up there and it looks like it's the the original one now we're under the car and it's a little bit difficult to get the camera to focus here exhaust uh, are gone um, Bolts in the exhaust manifolds are, are broken off. On the other side, they are still there, but front pipe is, is just rusted. And <clears throat> one interesting thing I see here is that the, the lever for the, the it's removed from the transmission it should be installed here but it is removed probably that was done because it wasn't possible to move the car otherwise because something in the in the gear shifter there is is stuck or doesn't work the electrical part of it so they had to just remove it so that they could put the car in in uh, not in a park position but but in, in in some other position so that it was possible to to roll the car well otherwise it 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 looks rather unchanged here everything looks rather rather normal starter and, and and all the leads and things are there steering components everything look more or less original i think
there are the hoses that goes and pipes that goes back to the rear uh, heater core. The car has uh, double heater cores in, in the rear under the back seat. Okay. So to summarize, let's uh, walk over to the project board. It's uh, not much space here, but, but I, I have to manage. This is a, a Mopar 426 uh, engine block. And it's standing here for, for the time being. Uh, yes, let's look at the board. Back to my project board here. Uh, I try to to note here what happening. As you can see in video number one, uh, what follows is uh, it's uploaded to YouTube, and I made a post on on Facebook in, in the group for for uh, Cadillac Brogham's uh, 57 to 60. Uh, we'll see if if there will be any any reaction or comments that will be and maybe there are other uh, media i i haven't thought about or or groups or, or whatever it can be um the second video this video was about what happened to the car uh, let's summarize here the the the, the paint issues with the paint it was repainted twice maybe white and when that was done and then there are some questions about the trunk lock ornament let and letters they are removed don't know why or when was that done already in california i read an article about someone uh, modifying these cars uh, already uh, at the time in in california um the door mechanism doesn't work and that that's for sure a problem and the the issue is can it be fixed um they are somewhat complicated but let's see about that later fuel tank uh, something has been going on with the fuel tank and the electric pump uh, i will try to find out uh, more about that the gear shifter is disconnected uh, I guess it has to do with some electrical issue. It is somehow connected to the rear doors and the locks of the rear door. So, so for sure, I have to uh, dive in deeper in that. So the next video I plan to do will be about the doors and if I can fix the door mechanism. Uh, well, that's a, a, an initial plan for this project. These will be the videos. Uh, I will try to find out what's working with the electrical system, the engine. Uh, is it the original engine and does it turn? Will it start the fuel pump and what's going on with that? The brakes, of course, they have to work in, in order to, to, to drive the car. The body, I don't know, the rust, uh, some of it might have to be repaired. Uh, the paint will be a later issue. The interior, uh, well, the upholstery, it's not original. And the carpet, can I replace the carpet? Are there any carpets to, to buy for these cars? And later there will be a registration and inspection. And that has to be done in uh, 2024, the next summer. Uh, I have this uh, plan and this schedule and, and it has to be done within five years from the date the car came here. That's, that's, the, that's uh, the rules. So here we have the history up here and uh, videos, number of the videos, and then the actions and uh, the things I need to do will be here. So that's it for 511 for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.